Right. So what, what do you think of this new stadium? It's fantastic. I uh, saw it in February when I was here for basketball, and uh, I knew it would be very impressive, but it really has exceeded expectations. I mean, obviously, we've always had an iconic setting here at Husky Stadium, but it's now, you know, it's hard to imagine any facility surpassing this one. And it's just great news for Husky fans, for alumni, everyone that's been involved, and great news for the conference. How, um, how do, if, if they do, do these things benefit the, the conference? Well, you know, the overall trajectory of the conference, I look at it as kind of heading in the right direction. The national attention, respect for the conference, how we do in recruiting. I think those things are affected by the exposure that we get, how we recruit. We have you know, competitive facilities, the caliber coaches that we've got. And in all those areas, we've seen major improvements over the last few years. So not only is this great news for Husky stakeholders and fans, it's great news for the conference because it just further elevates uh, the depth and caliber of our programs. Do you play a role in that? Like, do you go to schools and say you should think about upgrading your facilities to better the conference, or did they do it on their own and you support them? Our programs have always been very hungry to uh, be competitive, to be elite in every respect. Uh, our programs have just been hamstrung for a while in terms of economics um, and, and from an exposure standpoint as well. So obviously with the new television deals that we have, uh, the exposure that we're now getting, that's given everyone you know, much more financial stability. You know, we've got you know, 12 years of financial stability, a lot of uplift in the uh, and, and at a program like this, you know, most of not all the funding is actually come from uh, other sources, so corporate sources, uh, seat holders, and things like that. But um, we don't have a direct role in terms of pushing our programs because they have wanted to you know, get going on facility development because they felt our conference had fallen behind. But at this point in time, almost every one of our schools, either as a project, a major project, recently finished, in development, or, or planned. Uh, up and down, there's about half a dozen projects that are new. Arizona, Stanford, Utah, all of new football operations buildings. This is the biggest uh, this season. But uh, up and down, Oregon, of course. So, you know, there's about five or six that have major new developments already for this year. And it ju it's just indicative of the type of explosive growth we're seeing in the Congress. Or what's, the, what's the one thing that you notice about this place that's different, that struck you? Well, uh, what they didn't change, which is the iconic setting and kind of paying homage to to the water. Um, and I just love how uh, they kept some of the traditions, the look and feel of the old Husky Stadium, but it's got all the modern amenities and conveniences and uh, you know, certainly the football operations areas, the player areas are very, very state-of-the-art. As you had a chance to tour the entire place then? I did. Okay. So I got here earlier this afternoon and... I got a tour. I think I saw most everything. Then, you know, think just out of all of the games in the conference, you chose this one to like come to. Just, just why was that? Yeah, so I decided early on, uh, because this was such a project of great magnitude, I really wanted to be here to support, acknowledge, congratulate everyone involved in the Husky uh, family for the job that they did. It's a very significant moment for the conference, great for the conference, so I wanted to be here. On top, it's obviously a great matchup against a ranked team, and it's going to be a great occasion to be here and meet them and support them. When you talk about the facilities and all the different projects, is that a matter of necessity for these schools, or is this part of the arms race and the competitive aspect of you know, affecting recruiting and the things like that? In this day and age, yeah, I think it is a necessity if you want to be an elite program. Our conference had fallen behind on the SEC, the Big Ten, the Big 12, in terms of facilities, because our programs were cash strapped. That's all changed, and our programs decided that they have the confidence now to be aggressive, and that's, that's where it really up and down the conference, almost every one of our programs has embarked or is embarking on major programs, because they felt we had to catch up with the rest of the country. Now, does this help you in terms of maybe trying to publicize the conference to networks for a game day or a, you know, a special event, that type of thing? Sure it does. There's a lot of buzz that gets created about these new venues. That's one of the reasons Fox Sports, in their first year, chose this as their Saturday night game. They thought, you know, we'd just have a, a great story around it, plus it's a great matchup. So it very much helps the conference overall. And it's just going to get more great players to want to come here 
you know, the student athletes, I mean, they do care. They care about the facilities. It shows a commitment to football, which is important as well. Uh, I have to ask you the direct TV question just. Um, is it going to happen this season? It doesn't seem so. And it seems that as, as, as if the Pac-12 went on the offensive now. I mean, just putting out ads and just trying to get that going. Yeah, well, it was pretty clear to me at media day wasn't going to happen for the season. And that's why I was so declarative at the football media day because it's been pretty clear they're not intending to take it at the moment. Um, but you know, we really feel for our fans that are not able to get the network and we felt we owe it to them uh, to fight and to you know, put some muscle behind it, some elbow grease, and really uh, put pressure on the TV and try to convince as many fans as possible to switch to the great alternatives. They have a dish, a Comcast, all the small cable operators. Um, it's unfortunate. We wish they didn't have to. Uh, but we feel like Directory is disrespecting the high quality. Have you gotten any feedback yet from the... From no, the and, and I'm not expecting it. So I really think the fans don't want to miss what was the last time you had kind of a conversation and open dialogue with the network? Well, I've got a team that you know works on it regularly. I think they're in touch every couple of weeks just to see if something changed. What's the state of the no secret of their desire to be in the Pac-12? One day, you know, President Custer's here, Mark Coyle, and they get to have one-on-one conversations with you about that. Have you given them any advice as to what they need to do someday? Well, not here, but I, I hear from President Custer and uh, Mark Coyle from time to time. Uh, and I appreciate their interest. I've tried to make it clear that, that we've got no intention of expanding for the foreseeable future.